Hola, namaste. This is Priyanka Vanga from Sutra. What got me started after almost two decades of corporate life. I deal with vision issues, very severe vision issues, both hereditary as well as caused by an injury. It's given me the grounding, the flexibility. Through the Vinyasa Yoga Flow practice, one breath, one movement, I do it as my passion, as my purpose, in amplifying this wellness to others around us. Welcoming you on the mat today for a gentle cool down evening stretch to relax and unwind. So let's get started in a comfortable seated position. Fingers and thumbs, the index finger and thumb together, palms out open on top of the knees. As you gently close your eyes, start to feel the breath within you. Letting the breath slow down as you end your day. And as you exhale out, release the belly button to the lower back. And gently, let's open our eyes and get started. Let's stretch up, bring the palms together, release the palms down to either side, roll the shoulders open a couple of times, and press the palms down firmly, all five fingertips on the ground. Lift your knees up. Opening the chest up, opening the heart. Inhaling, exhaling, release. Let's switch sides, switch the crossing of your legs. Maybe the fingertips start to point back. Once again, roll the shoulders open, breathe. Inhale, lift with the breath up, bring the knees down. Open, rise, exhale, release back. Slowly uncross the legs, toes pointing forward, feet are down, breathe and gently start to roll down one vertebra at a time, breathing in, inhaling, as you're exhaling, pressing all four corners of the back down in the mat and let's extend the right leg out, hug the left knee in, maybe you can lift the shoulders up so the chin or the nose can tuck in towards the knee. Or if you feel it's too much, keep the shoulders down, relax. Extend the palms out. You can add a twist. Use the right hand to guide the left knee over. So opposite knee rolling over. If it feels too much for your spine, lift the opposite hand up onto the same side waist. Pause. Slowly, when you come back in, give your knee a hug once again. And this time, let's open the foot out to the inside of the opposite thigh, letting the knee drop out open. Once again, focus on engaging your core, releasing the lower back to the mat. Breathe, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Maybe even closing the eyes. Supa Vikshasana. Supine tree pose. Breathing in and out. Inhale, extend the hands up. Bring the knee back in. Lift up and let's switch to the opposite side. Again, this is also called Pavan Mukta Asana, wind releasing pose. And let's add a variation, twist it over to the opposite side. Breathe once again. Option to put the right hand down or in your waist. If it's feeling too much of a shoulder stretch for you, breathe, release. You can keep looking up or twist as well to the opposite side. Breathing in, hugging in, and releasing out. Once again, release the right knee out open. The foot comes into your inner thigh. Keep the left foot flexed. Both hands can be resting on your hip bones in the front. Keep the chin slightly tucked in, or arms can be extended out like the branches of the tree. Breathe. Release. Feel the breath flowing from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. And let it flow out through your hands as you hug in. 
This time, let's have both knees in, rolling yourself into a tight ball, rolling gently side to side, maybe even hugging under your thighs, and rolling front and back. Breathing in and out, lower back, middle back, upper back, down on the mat. Breathe, maybe tap forward. Let's start to lengthen the rolls. Inhaling, exhaling. Three, two, if you're feeling very warmed up, let's release the legs back. Halasana, now goes. Breathing in and out. Lift and release. Maybe your toes touch the ground. Maybe they don't. You can use your hands in the front to lift a little higher. Stretch the back up and release back. Be careful with your neck. Keep the chin slightly tucked in. Breathing in and out. Maybe lift one leg up at a time. Stretching up. Inhale. Exhale. Release. The other side. Maybe you want to play around. Lift both legs up. Rising up. Into a shoulder stand. Remember to keep the chin slightly tucked in. And to make any adjustments, like on your toes, bend the knees towards your forehead. Straighten the back out. Use your breath. Breathe. And slowly start to stretch out. Lengthening up. Toes are pointing up. Ballerina feet. Breathe. In line with your nose. One straight line of energy. Reversing this energy from your head. Reaching up to the ceiling, to the sky. And gently, with control, release the feet back down. Maybe use your hands as brakes. As you come back into Halasana. Other variation of coming down from the shoulder stand is to use your hands down and release the back down one breath at a time. Breathing in and out. Release it down. You can meet me up in both fours. I'll give a couple of variations here. So let's repeat this. Rising up, shoulder stand, coming back down. Use your elbows, both fours. And again, roll yourself up. Release the feet down. Lift the butt up. Reach for simple Dandasana. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. Rising up. Keep the back flat. Breathe. Stretch up. Inhale. The hands up. As you exhale, gently, gently bring the hands down forward. And roll yourself into a tight ball. If you wish to practice the shoulder stand, once again, stay with me. Roll back. Maybe let's try with the knees bent this time. Extend the legs out. Extending the legs out. Bending the knees either side of the ears. Reaching for your opposite. Same side here, sorry, not the opposite side here, not a punch point. Breathe. Slowly, use your hands, extending towards the back, big toes. And rise up, maybe keeping the hands next to you. Use your core to straighten up as much as you can. Breathe, hold, release. Remember to keep breathing, maybe use your hands. To adjust if you need to. Let's just stay here. Inhaling. Exhale. This time let's bend our knees. And use your hands supported with the thighs. To gently roll down. One breath at a time. And release the feet down. And let's extend the legs out. Reversing it. Counter pose, Matsyasana, fish pose. Arms under your back. Maybe you want to make fists. 
bring the fists together, breathe and lift, releasing the head back, rising up on your elbows, extending out, extend the legs out, toes are pointed, fists under your butt, under your lower back, chin slightly tucked in, starting to puff the chest up as you rise up on your elbows, breathe, Lift the knees back into the chest where you started. Give yourself a moment. Inhaling, exhaling. Release the feet down, open the palms up. Let's rise up again. This time only lifting the feet up. Knees are bent 90 degrees. Extend the arms out. And let's exhale over to one side. Once again, you have the option of continuing to look up or look towards your right towards your extended palms. You can extend the legs out as you reach for your toes. Breathe. Inside. Come back to center. Keep control. And let's drop over to the opposite side. Extend the legs out once again. If you did it on the other side, reach, reach, reach. If your knees are bent, stay so. If you're extending out, go over fully, tapping the toes with your right hand, looking up and looking towards your back. Come back to center. Let's roll front and back, breathing in and out. Again, give your spine. Your back, massage, rolling side to side. Maybe if it's easier, keep the head down. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's open up into happy baby. Ending the day on a happy note, full of joy. Let's reach the hands outside the feet, rolling side to side. Maybe extending one leg at a time. And slowly bring the feet together, releasing down, knees are open, Supta Pada Konasana, right hand in the belly, left of the chest, close your eyes, relaxing, keep releasing, pressing the lower back down, inhaling, Shavasana, corpse pose. Stay as long as you need to, making your chest move if you wish to. Roll your fingers, your ankles, your wrists, your toes. Wiggle your toes. Breathing in and out. Letting the wave of relaxation flow through your body. Cooling down, resting, releasing, getting ready to end your day in a joy, in peace. You can stay as long as you need to. If you wish to close the practice with me, gently roll into a fetal position on one side. And slowly, I have to sit in a comfortable cross-legged position. Breathing in and out. Let's close the practice with the palms closing on top of the knees. Rolling in. Inhaling. Open up. Let's spread the palms up. Stretch up. Look up.
share your story.